Most women know that as we age, our periods often get heavier, especially after having children. But you may not know that there's a new minimally invasive option for women called Novashore. Leslie is a 39-year-old mother of two who's done having children, and she's had our cameras follow her as she underwent this procedure. I've been at the park with my kids and uh, had to go home and kind of change my clothes because I bled through everything. It's not fun to go to the store and have to buy in bulk. <laughs> And your shopping cart's loaded up with tampons and pads. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Leslie came in complaining of lifestyle disruption. NovaShore is a technique where a radio frequency current is delivered to the endometrium, which is the lining of the uterus. The endometrium is removed, and about 95% of patients will have a vast improvement in their bleeding profile. So the procedure today will look inside of Leslie's uterus and see the actual removal of the endometrium. So now the patient is getting prepped with uh, antibiotic solution. Because the procedure needs to be customized to the patient, we measure the length of the cervix and then measuring the length of the uterus. We're going to go ahead and put the hysteroscope in. Right there is one of the openings to her fallopian tube. This is the cervix back here. This is the opening into the uterus right there. I'm going to place the wand through the cervix just where we looked and expand the gold-plated mesh. The radio frequency current is going to be delivered to the endometrium. The sound that you're hearing now is actually delivering the current. What you saw before was bright pink and what I'm going to show you now is we're seeing the endometrium eliminated. It's markedly different. Okay, and this case is done and it was ideal. Leslie is here with us today and also joining us is Dr. Ralph Mayer. He's an OBGYN with the Rodeo Drive Women's Health Center here in Beverly Hills. I want to thank you both for being here. So, Dr. Mayer and Lisa, how common are these extremely heavy periods in women? Well, heavy bleeding is, you know, something that we do as gynecologists all the time. And basically what women need to know about heavy bleeding is normal bleeding is um, a lot less than heavy bleeding. Heavy bleeding would be about 80 milliliters as opposed to light bleeding, which would be about 30 millimeters in this jar. But what women know about heavy and light bleeding, because you're not going to look how, at it like that. <laughs> and how much time, Lisa, like per period? Yeah. Okay. Is that um, basically it's a if you're going through more than a pad or a tampon in an hour, or if you're doubling up, and you you were. You, I you was know. absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you were worried combining about combining the two and yeah. having to go places in between, and you know. And something we called flooding, where you just go right through everything. Absolutely. And the nice thing is that um, Leslie was also finished with her family. She had completed her childbearing, and that's a really important point for the Novashore. Well, yeah, because you absolutely cannot have the Novashore if you want to have children afterwards. Right. Right. And I think you had already decided yes, you were finished. Yes, my husband and I had decided you know, several years ago that we were done having children, so this was a great option for me. And that's is, the actual wand over there? Yeah, so... It's really cool. This is the wand. So we set... Again, it's customized, so we, we actually measure the uterine cavity, measure the cervix, and adjust it based on that. And then we, once the wand is inside the uterus, we expand the array and it's gold plated. This delivers a radio frequency energy to the endometrium to eliminate the endometrium. Um, again, suction is applied so the endometrium actually comes right down onto the mesh. Once we're done, the mesh is brought back into the wand and the wand is removed. Right. So who should ask their doc about this? Well, women that are having, you know, heavy bleeding, um, also they'll need a workup because it also depends on your age. You want, you, you know, if they're postmenopausal, you will want to rule out uterine cancer by doing something like an endometrial biopsy. Right. So I think it's important to talk yeah. to your doctor. If you absolutely. perceive that your periods are heavy, any woman who perceives that they're heavy should absolutely talk to their doctor and then have a workup like Dr. Masterson and then, said. And then, Leslie, how, how are things now? It's great. It's I mean, the procedure was so easy. I was in and out in like a couple hours uh, and I had no pain. And that same night I was out to dinner with friends and, mm -hmm. and back to my normal lifestyle, running around and taking my kids to their activities the next day. <laughs> as far as bleeding though? No, I mean, uh, maybe a day or two of like a very like, mild okay. spotting and that's maybe normal. that afternoon, just a couple like cramps yeah, and we, that was it. We expect some discharge is really normal, some bleeding. Um, and 75% of women will never have another period. 90% will return to normal bleeding or no period. Um, and it's really interesting, though, actually when I'm delivering the radiofrequency energy, it takes 90 seconds. So it's a very quick procedure. 
And it's important to know there's other procedures. We've done this with cautery using, you know, a ball to, to, to sort of burn the inside yeah, of the uterus. Old school. That's old school. But also <laughs> there's, um, you know, other heat forms using a water balloon. So, you know, there's other ways to do this, but that's a very slick, very quick you know, very low risk. <laughs> and, it's, and it's really important to know it's an outpatient procedure. It's covered by most insurances. So, and a lot of times we do it right in the office. So it's a very simple copay, $20, $30 copay. So that makes it really nice for patients. And it really gives a woman's life back. I mean, it Huge. was really, you know. It's very freeing. And just yeah. to know that the, you know, I might just be able to go back to normal and not have to have all that planning is and nice. It's just the worry that all of a sudden <laughs> you're going to bleed somewhere. Right. Yeah. Thank you both so much. Thank you very much. Coming up, does your child have an unusual rash that mysteriously comes and goes and you just can't explain it? We'll let you know why these things are happening and how to fix your own body quirks next.